Jackmate synchronized lifting system is designed to give controlled synchronized lifting for up to 10 cylinders for beam structures, whatever you want to do. Our goal here is to demonstrate what the system can do. We're going to illustrate this by uh, raising this beam in a synchronized manner. What we have are 10 30 ton cylinders ready to lift this beam. Synchronized lift system comprises of individual hydraulic gauges, individual directional control valves for each cylinder, hydraulic check valves. This system is designed for both single acting and it can be equipped for double acting cylinders. There's a system pressure, system retract pressure, an easy illustration for your displacement cylinders to indicate whether they're full or empty, emergency stop, and a bypass valve for quick emptying of the cylinders once your lift has been completed. The system is 110 volts and is operated easily using a standard hydraulic pump pendant. Once cylinders are placed, once the cylinders have been placed in position, the first step is to make contact with the structure that needs to be lifted. We achieve this by first closing our bypass valve, shutting and finger tight all the check valves for all the cylinders, ensuring that all the check valves are closed, establishing that all the directional control valves are in the center or neutral position, we now want to ensure that our displacement cylinders, which are represented by the controls in here, are full. So we do that with the electric pendant using the retract button to fill the displacement cylinders. Once the displacement cylinders have been filled, we can now proceed to make contact with the part of the structure for each individual cylinder. The idea here is to just make initial contact so that when we begin our lift, all the cylinders are seeing the exact same pressure. We do that simply by moving the pump into the advanced position for cylinder one, leaving all the other cylinders in neutral. We hit the advanced button or the top button on our pendant and we watch the cylinder raise. Once the cylinder has made contact, we can identify through a visual or we can identify through a pressure reading on the gauge. There is no pressure reading at this point as the load we are lifting really has no capacity. Once we've made contact, we move that cylinder to the neutral position and we proceed, proceed to do the exact same to the next cylinder. Once contact is made, Turning that to zero, moving to our third cylinder. Once the displacement cylinder has been emptied, we again hit back to neutral and we refill the displacement cylinder. Back to the advance, we continue to bump our cylinder. You can achieve this quickly. You can either do individual cylinders or you can achieve this quickly by sending all cylinders into the advanced slot. Hitting retract now on our pump with our displacement cylinder 50. And that'll send a low pressure oil to all the cylinders. Once contact is made, Returning now, neutralizing each cylinder, ensuring that the screw knobs are on. We can now return, verify that all our pressures are equal. Again, ensuring that the displacement cylinder is full. Now bumping, bumping each individual cylinder. 
may or may not have contact. In this case, cylinder number six doesn't appear to have made contact. I advance it until all cylinders are making contact with each other. Cylinder number two. Cylinder number seven. Cylinder number ten. Again, if I empty my cylinder, I just need to refill my displacement cylinder. So now I can proceed to move. I'm doing is either using a visual cue or more ideally I want to identify that all cylinders are seeing an initial pressure that is equal amongst them all. Once I'm satisfied that all cylinders have made contact I'm now ready to commence my lift. Again always starting from the full cycle we use the retract button ensure all our gauges all our valves are in the neutral position. We retract to fill our displacement cylinders. Once they're filled, I can now proceed for a synchronized lift. First step, synchronized lift. Again, ensure that all your check valves are finger tight. We're confirming that all pressures are equal. We now select which cylinders we want to commence the lift with. In this case, we're going to use all 10 cylinders. We can certainly isolate whatever cylinders we want. Move the control lever into the advanced position for all cylinders. Confirming that your job site's safe, confirming that you're now ready to commence your lift. You now take your pendant and you utilize the advanced feature. cylinders are making contact and our load has lifted. Once the, the visual, you use the visual for the displacement cylinder, once it empties, you hit the retract button to refill the displacement cylinder. The load is now secure and it's checked so it will stay in place and we commence again. And we push. We're now visually looking at our all our pressures as you can see all rising exactly the same. We've now lifted our beam. We've now lifted our beam. We confirm that all cylinders are making contact. All pressures are the same and equal. Our system pressure is an indication of the total load on the entire system. If we were to put a level on this beam, you'd see that it's been lifted perfectly level. Irrelevant, irrelevant of any type of weight discrepancy within the area that's being lifted. The key to the synchronized uh, jackmate system is it uses displacement as opposed to pressure to regulate the controlled lift. So what it does is it delivers a volume of oil to each one of the lifting cylinders from the displacement cylinders in a consistent, precise, controlled manner.